Theresa May wouldn't be drawn on the cap. She says she won't comment on leaks. However, on today this morning, she was a little more forthcoming about changes to the rules on free movement. The whole issue of free movement has changed over the years. In the original start of the European Union, it was about free movement of workers. It's now been expanded by treaties and by the courts in terms of their interpretation of it. So I think it is right that we look at the question of abuse and we look at the accession of new countries and say, what makes sense for member countries within the European Union in terms of the future and in terms Reason. of what this free movement right is? Theresa May also said there was support for some changes from other EU countries. Germany is thought to be an ally on the right to claim benefits, what's called welfare tourism, but would they be happy to go further? Michael Volgamoth is director of Open Europe Berlin, a partner of the Eurosceptic think tank Open Europe. I think the German government would really like to see the UK make some progress on that, to, to have a European-wide settlement on um, how the availability of uh, social benefits um, could be ruled, could be organised. And perhaps it's a, some, some kind of division of labour that the UK should play the bad cop and Germany remains the good cop, but would be rather happy if there could be some uh, restrictions on freedom of movement if it comes to welfare tourism. Would a cap on free movement, uh, a maximum number of people who could come to a mm. member country at any one time from other member countries ever be acceptable to Germany? I'm just a poor economist. I'm not a legal scholar, but I, I would think that this would raise serious um, legal issues uh, with European law and the basic freedom of movement. I don't think a, a German government would be really willing to accept such a cap to be introduced in the UK or for, for caps uh, on a general basis for other European member states. You characterised Britain as playing bad cop to Germany's good cop. Yeah. Um, why would German government, if it is sympathetic to what the British are mm. saying about benefit tourism, why wouldn't it want to say that openly itself? I don't no, perhaps it again has to do with um, German history and it is very hard to, to have a public debate on um, immigration of foreigners uh, because that is uh, then very soon regarded as a, a right-wing uh, populist agenda and so far, fortunately, perhaps uh, we, we, we don't have a right-wing populist party that would really push this issue on the agenda. There's perhaps some, some sense of uh, political correctness to, to not address this issue very openly and, and even aggressively. Michael Vulgamuth in Berlin.